40 minute final scored on your top two waves Australia versus Brazil, regular versus Goofy. This is as good as it gets. Jack Robinson competed for his first world title last season at Lower Trestles. This is just his third year on tour. And starting already, Gabriel Medina <laughs> timed this one at the buzzer and already coming flying out of the tube to take on Jack Robinson. Remember, a lot on the line. A spot in the WSL Final Five. And it's going to come down to this, the last heat of the regular season. That Gabriel Medina demands flick. What do you see here? Yeah, beautiful opening wave from Gabby here. Straight in and out. Nice travel time too. So great way to get started. This wave, yeah, great point, Pete. It just looks so much more groomed out there right now. That uh, squall has moved through. You can see the face of that wave looking so nice and clean. But it's also to Medina's credit, just finding sections of the reef to work with as he's hunting right now. Up and out. I mean, Pete, if you could draw a little over this reef and just mark all the takeoff spots that Medina has utilized on the road to this final, it would look like a cartoon that you drew. Yeah, on it, looked a map. Like, <laughs> it looked like Nate Florence's uh, map of Namibia. <laughs> <laughs> look into the channel with Medina. This is uh, what you'd expect from him, Pete, not just taking all the energy, not sitting still at all, and he could close this out early like he's done to his opponent, opponents all week. A big number came out there for uh, Leo. Rolling in and a nice lunge in the pit for Medina. Another successful make as he lays it down. Ollie's down the step. How much confidence does this man have? 17 CT wins. If he gets the victory in this final, he'll break the tie that he shares on the all-time win list. I mean, look, he just found another big barrel. We haven't seen anything like that, and all of a sudden he finds it and then lays into a big hack. Uh, you know, again, showing us uh, just building through an event. That was just underneath and out, so easily made. I'm shook. <laughs> I think Jack is totally too. Fair. You can see Jack in that shot before having a look at the one that Gabby was just about to take off on. Like, uh oh. <laughs> Have that the conditions improved, or is just Medina's in the water? <laughs> Medina's in the water. No, nah, it's a little I smoother, think, right? Yeah, a little yeah, bit. For and, sure. Um, but you know what I mean. It's just got the sixth. <laughs> I mean, and Medina just had to keep proving it to the world that he was ready to be the best out here. How's that? Airdrop controls it, pulls into the first section. Medina looks like he still has some room for a moment, and he will get clipped. And but just go, it, I'm going to make it dramatic at the end here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know he didn't do that, but it's, uh, you know, <laughs> probably a fitting moment just chasing as Medina's up again. Jack, meanwhile, hasn't even looked at a wave yet. That he's note. wanted to paddle in. He moves around the reef. It's literally something that he just sharks around. Now Jack finally taking his first wave of the final. It's staying open for him, and the Australian has so much patience and belief. But it was all about the Medina show for the first 11 minutes of the final. Jack was staying calm and believing in his game plan. He's going to start off with a great number flick. And to be honest, you know, you have to be patient out here to find the right wave or you know, you do the exact opposite of what Medina is doing and just catch everything that moves. So and this is going to be really fun to watch this one play out. It was, I'm excited. I can't wait to see who wins this thing. And like you guys were talking about, this is for a world title. It really is. These guys are, are going to one spot left and one of them is going to get in there and then they're going to fight for that title. I think it's just so exciting and it's so amazing that these guys matched up in the end here to jump into the final five. We love it as we see Jack. Completely shacked, total composure. Second stall right there. That's where Strider was mentioning that he was able to have that speed control since that next section, slowed himself down for it, didn't want to outrun it and maximize the barrel time because he's going to add, I mean, if you hold that barrel time, that little extra time behind the curtain, judge will give you. I mean, it's not like a turn. It's literally, that's what you need to do in order to score good on the criteria is maximize that barrel time. This year is just a lot of nights to kick off the year, four in a row. That's uh, losing the round before the quarters. Uh, Ethan Ewing took him out three times this year. Griffin twice this season. Finally won at Margaret River for the first time in his career as we see an up and out from Jack. He still has the lead. He's thinking about this wave and the three-time world champ commits. Big pump to beat this section without a problem and lays down the rail but it slides out. That many waves that Gabby's caught today that he's come flying out of, but yeah, not a, not as clean an exit. Falls here on the turn as well. You know, 
finishing a wave is super important and the last thing you see in the judge's mind is a fall. Not necessarily the best thing. Still a great little barrel. I mean, you'd take it any day, but don't know if it's really going to better that 6A3. I mean, these surfers are performers as well, and sometimes they want to kind of create drama. They show risk on the takeoff, get a little air under that board, and Jack actually separate himself. Gabe further on the inside, pulling a... Into this one is Jack Robinson. Bottom drops out, hangs onto the rail, and that one shut down really quickly. So, doesn't let those pressure cooker moments get to him. As we look at Gabriel Medina pulling into the first section, stalling aggressively to try to get more out of the pit, not a big alley-oop <laughs> that he lands on the back of the wave. He made that, but... However, <laughs> he did it right out of it. Good call, Pete. All right, it was, uh, he wanted to maximize the barrel time here, and he knew it wasn't deep enough, really. You know, and the alley-oop probably could have helped solidify a little bit, but again, just uh, landed inside edge. Nice, stylish kickout. One of the coolest kickouts we've seen all event long. And again, just a different style to try and stall for a barrel. You know, the kick stall, and wow, that was uh, pretty impressive as well. But lands on that inside edge, it's just a glorified kick out. So funny, man. Anyone else that made an air <laughs> like that would definitely not be like, ah, I'm going to kick out. I mean, you'd run out of that. No worries. And be talking about it at the pub for the rest of your life. 100%. I mean, you got so much loft. I mean, Strider Medina always reminds us that this is actually a great airway. Well, I think that one would have won the Commentator's Cup, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's going to be a throwaway. And really impressive to watch both of these guys with their, their sense of uh, tube time and everything that they can do inside of these waves. Uh, Gabby on another wave, just taking a look. Probably his 55th wave this heat. <laughs> <laughs> well, this could be another one of those years. Gabby's up and riding again. He's in the tube and kicking out. Good man, Strider. Yeah, we've seen Jack do that so many times. He did it a couple times at G-Land specifically to Toledo. And he's already has 10 waves in this final. That's 38 waves ridden today on finals day. And Jack Robinson lunges into the pocket. He's got some speed to guide him towards the exit. Robinson makes it. Throws down a backhand carve. And now nice, calm celebration from the Australian, chasing a 7.18 for the lead. Wow, here you go, replay so deep on this wave. Look at him pumping down the line. He did at least two pumps there just to make it out of that one. Followed us up with a carving maneuver, little fist pump, he is liking it. Watch this as he's in this barrel. Let's see if we can see the foot adjustment. Um, as he goes into this next section right there, he actually, um, if the other angle, you can see he actually put his back foot further back, almost bracing himself, knowing that there wasn't gonna be the clean exit and he like set up for it, knowing that it was going to be something that he had to push his way through. Looking into his top angle here, right back there, he actually put his foot back. Uh, and just that's why he was able to just have all that extra stability. And to me, it, it feels like an easy one to, to turn the heat. It, it, it's just, uh, it was impressive. It was technical. He was deep. Um, all of it, there's that wow factor. All of a sudden, you're just like, whoa, how did he make that? There's the foot back. See how he just did that little shift? and uh, put himself in perfect position. Adjustments, those little subtle things, those aren't things that he's thinking about, he just does it, right? And it's just, um, instinct. you know, instinct. The art of tube riding. There's a lot more than just set it and forget it. You know, for Jack, he does so much, especially backhand, the way he sped up. The way this played out, they both matched up, and now we've got a real heat on our hands. Late takeoff for Gabriel Medina, big section, sets his line, it's staying open. And somehow the foam ball, Gets a hold of Gabriel Medina. Seconds away from making that. Here he goes again. Medina not giving up. It gave me a kind of a flashback of that CJ Hobgood wave that he did make. Oh, kind that. of rode over some fluffy pillows, as he oh, called it. And incredible. Was able to get a 10-point ride over Julian Wilson a few years back. And Jack Robinson is officially the champion of the Shiseido Tahiti Pro, presented by Outer Known. And we will see you at the Rip Curl WSL Finals. In Incredible. <laughs> All the way down to the wire, the last heat of the year, and look at, he thanked the reef. I think he looked down there and he, kind of, he looked at that reef and uh, had a little moment there because that was incredible and uh, what a feat. What a day.